Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the video, where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 702. Now 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So if I replace 3 squared with 9, I get 3 squared to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 702. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And m times n, these two are interchangeable. So this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m, meaning n times m, we could be right as a to the power of n to the power of m. So a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And I'm going to rewrite that as 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I'm going to set 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now if I replace y with 3 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 702. Now if I subtract 702 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 702 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 7 over 2. So now I have negative b, so negative of negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 7 or 2. I have this over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now, negative of a negative is a positive, so I have positive 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared is 1, minus Negative 4 times negative 7 over 2 is positive 2,808. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now I have 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 2,808 is 2,809 over 2. And the square root of 2,809, that is going to be 53. So now I have y is equal to 1 plus 53 over 2, and y is equal to 1 minus 53 over 2. So for y equals 1 plus 53 over 2, 1 plus 53 is 54. So I have 54 over 2, which is equal to 27. And for 1 minus 53 over 2, 1 minus 53 is negative 52 over 2, which is equal to negative 26. And this is actually, can't, this is rejected because we set y equal 3 to the power of x. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative. So that's why negative 26, this is rejected. So our only value of y is 27. So now remember how y equals 3 to the power of x. Now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now 27, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So now 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. Sorry. If I have something in the form a to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b, this means that c is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 3. So that is our answer. 
All right, so I have four to the power of x minus one is equal to 256. Now 256, this is equal to 16 squared. So now I have four to the power of x minus one is equal to 16 squared. Now 16, this is equal to four squared. So now I have four to the power of x minus one is equal to four squared to the power of two. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So four to the power of two to the power of two, that's gonna equal four to the power of two times two. And two times two is four, so now I have four to the power of x minus one is equal to four to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of b is equal to a to the power of c, then this means that b is equal to c. So in this case, x minus one is equal to four. So now I have a simple equation. All I have to do is add one on both sides. These two cancel out. I'd be left with x is equal to four plus one is five. Now to check, my original equation was four to the power of x minus one equals 256. Now I know that x is equal to five. So now I have four to the power of five minus one is equal to 256. Now five minus one is four, so I have four to the power of four is equal to 256. 256 is the same as 16 squared, so I have four to the power of four is equal to 16 squared. 16 is the same thing as four squared, so I have four to the power of four is equal to four squared to the power of two. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So four to the power of two to the power of two, that's gonna equal four to the power of two times two which is equal to four to the power of four. And four to the power of four is 256, so I have 256 is equal to 256. All right, so I have two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of x plus one. And I wanna find the value of x. So first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, three to the power of x plus one, that's gonna equal three to the power of x times three to the power of one. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by three to the power of x. So then these two will cancel out and I'll be left with two to the power of x over three to the power of x is equal to three to the power of one. Now three to the power of one is the same thing as three. So now I have two to the power of x over three to the power of x is equal to three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of b over c to the power of b, this is the same thing as a over c to the power of b. So two to the power of x over three to the power of x, that's gonna equal two over three to the power of x. This is equal to three. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log two over three to the power of x is equal to log three. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually go ahead and move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, x here would be b. So I can move this x1 and x to the front. So this would be x times log two over three is equal to log three. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by log two over three.
then these two cancel out and I'll be left with x is equal to log 3 over log 2 over 3. Now, if I have something in the form log a over log b, this is the same thing as log base b of a. So in this case, I have log 3 over log 2 over 3, and we can think of 3 as a and 2 over 3 as b. So this means that x is equal to log base 2 over 3 of 3. So this is our answer to this problem.